Do you want to know God? What will make you escape the vicious inferno of the world system? Is that your love for God becomes heightened and vitalized daily. This is the first step. We we'll move to step two. Move to step three. By the time you, you stand in step four, And I'll show you examples of men that got to that place. How that the, by the prophecies of Daniel, Israel knew that her time of deliverance had come. But when everybody was going back to from the land of captivity, Daniel stood and said, My place is here. <laughs> my place. It was not like Joseph that died and said, When you are going, remember my bones. Daniel was alive. My place. Is here. When you hear the prophet say that the, the hidden have taken our tokens, he was saying, talking about the graves of men like Nahum, men like Daniel, that litter the streets of Iraq, Babylon, because God gave a promise that I will come for you. So they knew that it didn't matter where they slept, he will surely come. Have you ever seen a man that was given freedom but he did not accept to be free? People that they say, okay, deny Christ now and be free. They say, no, would oh, die. Not accepting deliverance. Because the world could not offer them anything successful. You want to pray tonight and say, Lord, take me to your bed chamber. I've been walking in the periphery. That's why when simple trouble when financial stress comes upon me, instantly I begin to curse. But the Bible says, Sarah receives strength that she will bring forth because she judged him faithful who had promised. Where do you function from? The average Christian operates in the shallow waters. Meanwhile, God calls us to fellowship in the deep. For he said, deep, call it unto deep. At the noise of thy water sprouts, all thy waves have, and billows have gone over me. Rise on your feet, let's pray. Take me deeper. Deeper. why you feel everything a carryover hits you and for two months you are blanked out you feel like cursing God in your heart but you, you say well if I do so and, and one believer gets to hear me he will say I, 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 I blaspheme him when these things happen trivial things happen and they take all of your peace away it's because your connection with God is in the shallow places somebody cried to him take me deeper Something deeper than this must come upon the body of Christ for us to fulfill the demands of the kingdom in this day and time. Take me deeper. Take me deeper. Deeper. The Egyptians can meet with you where you are standing. But there is a place that you can function from. A place of intimacy. A place of deep depth in fellowship. Where you cannot be moved by that which your eyes can see. You can't be moved by that which your ears can hear. Take me deeper. Take me deeper. Take me deeper. Take me deeper. Deeper. From vanity upon vanity to the song of songs. And Christ becomes the song in your spirit. He places music inside of you. As he calls you to the altar of fellowship. To the place of prayer. The passion upon the heart of God's people has grown gross. Has waxed cold. me deeper so that your Christian faith and your Christian experience will not be mechanical there is a place of reality 
that's where he wants you to dwell he wants you to dwell there and then all the raging inferno of vanity seeking you will not be strong enough to get you he that drinketh of this well shall thirst again Only Jesus has that which can quench the cry of the implant of eternity on your inside. Take me deeper. Jesus, hold me close in your embrace. Take me deeper. Deeper than I ever been before. I just wanna love you, love you more and more. How I love to be deep in love. The reason why we are so carnal and so inclined to mundane things, whenever there's no money in your pocket, is as if the Holy Spirit has gone on break. You no longer yield to the attractions in your spirit as He calls you to the place of prayer, the place of communion. Everyone that loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. That's the answer to the lukewarmness of the church today. That's the answer to the dryness and the mechanical nature of Christianity. Somebody pray tonight and say, Lord, take me deeper. Nanana sena namo sana na maladai shela matena branda lai mona samena shela banando ala la 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 ma shela bado ale nana menashkena shola menina sabana na kasa perina masale amama na kamo ola la 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 Nana, <laughs> Shaninana <laughs> Yela baska bera da bala na no, aye mama. Ha la 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 bala ba, bala ba. She la bala da mosala. Oh managa da maska da bala de mosala. Ramina she la mama, mama la 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 na, mara bala, mara basola manta mala da. 
Lift your voice and call upon him. I want to be right where you are. I want to see your face, oh my God. I want to hear your voice every day. I want to be, I want to be where you are. I wanna see you, I wanna know your body language. I wanna see you, I wanna hear your voice. I, I, I wanna be right where you are. Beholding the beauty of your holiness. Hearing the touch of your tenderness. I, 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 God with us every every day. Ay 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 ay. Oh, sani malabana tena, sheya mana. Oh, la mana sheya mana. Sale sale, sale matama. Oh, le abate malagas ke malada melo. Oh, le abesha na masanda mana. Cry to him now. Ancient of days, we praise your name. God our Father, we sing your praise. We sing your praise. And he can come so close to you that you can feel him and touch him. And your heart begins to burn like flames of fire. Oh, 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 oh. We thank you. We worship you. In Jesus' name. see several of us you had a rich relationship with God before and then the clusters some troubles and situations came and choked your spirit choked your spirit and the time came you yielded to the enemy just keep playing what you were playing before If you are in that category, can you put your hand on your chest and talk to him passionately? I need you, Lord. I want to see your face, oh God. I want to hear your voice. I need you. I need you. Oh, righteous one. I wanna see your face, oh hold on. I wanna hear your voice speak to me. I need you, I need you. Oh, I need you. I wanna see your face, oh God. Oh. We 
ini dia We need you That fellowship with God can come back strong Thank you Lord In Jesus name get back home, look for a place that only you will stand. If possible, shut the door and tell Jesus, I love you. And make that a habit. I love you. We ask that you revive this flame. Draw us close, draw us near. We want to come. We want to come. We want to come. We want to come. Thank you, Father. You may be sitting. Please let the offering baskets go right now as we close. I've seen a lot of people here. You have been desiring to pray more than you are, you are, that you are doing now. You seem not to see the ability. But there's grace from the Lord. It's grace from the Lord. You can choose your time. That is convenient to you. Say, Lord, from 12 to 1 in the night time, I'm going to stand up. Not because I want money. Not because I want a wife. Just because I want you. Many times you fast and pray for the wrong things. Fast and pray for God to move sovereignly and bring some money into our pocket. Fast and pray so that the husband will, God will locate him, even if he's in quite a state, and by terrible things in righteousness, he'll find himself in Ben Willings. He'll be ferried down to Makodi town, and in a, on a hot Wednesday morning, he will bump into you and say, I need you. Why not be preoccupied with Jesus? And he will take care of everything that is not within your due description. And you will know that he's the one walking. When last did you kneel? And you said to him passionately, not hypocritically, I need you. What are the things that make you see that you need God? Is it only when you, you collide with a misfortune that you remember, Ah, oh, Jesus! But as pressed as Jesus was and his shadows were so tight, the Bible says he will withdraw himself from the multitude aside so that he can commune. And the last time we counted how many hours he did that in our little counting, little knowledge of chronology in scripture, he prayed for 11 hours. And he just had a crusade. And he left the crusade. Was, he said, okay, let's go and rest now. Let's go and rest. And then he now sent the people away and told the apostles, well, you guys go in the ship. I'll just meet you. And then he went to pray and we counted when he finished praying. It was 3 a.m. From the time he started praying, he had prayed for 11 hours. And by the time he was done with the prayer, he just strolled on water. <laughs> he just strolled on water. And the guys that left long time ago could not cover any distance because the wind was contrary. And when he, he came close, I said, Hey, hey God. He said, No, it's me. Just felt like stretching my legs sometimes. You don't know how much power that is available at your disposal. But many times, situations and circumstances will come choke the life out of you. And you begin to pant upon an examination as if a eternal life were tied to the certificate you are about to gain. If by any means you find yourself in Union Greek, the only reason why you are there because there's a divine agenda of God that you are going there to accomplish. The world will say you are doing aggregate economics, but you know why you are there. You are standing there as God's point man to pray the Lord's prayer, to preach, to pray and prophesy until revival come. If you ever need to go for a PhD so that you can access another platform that will give you the a sphere of influence to dominate for the kingdom. We have no earthly reason to be here. There's no earthly, there's no worldly reason that is strong enough 
for why I'll be sitting in an office for 30 days. For while I sit behind that desk and meet weary people come in, and sometimes the Lord opens my eyes and says, Oh my God, where did you go? You went far. And by the time the Lord gives you one or two insights, and the people break down in conviction, you present Jesus quietly. Meanwhile, you are still on the computer, entering some data. That's the only reason why I'm there. It's a deep undercover movement. The type that, that Esther was operating. For many years, her, her, her nationality was in doubt. It be, uh, that secret, out of secrecy, became an instrument of warfare in a day to come. Maybe God has brought you into the kingdom at such a time as this. What is your life contributing to the kingdom? Yes, you earn 60,000 naira every month. The truth is, 60,000 naira is not enough money. But how? 60,000 naira, eh? That's why people can't grow. For the past 26 years that he has worked in civil service, 60,000 naira have been the God that has ruled. Anytime it's paid time, hypertension comes. Because the blood pressure is thinking about how many ways to. Has the devil already put you in a cage already? And there, there's a way he rules over your life every day. You can break out. You can rebel. You can say there's a place I used to hear those whispers. There's a secret place that the voice used to come. But I was not wise enough. I thought that the sound of that voice would always come to me. So I despised it. Until the day came where the knock did not come no more. And when you seek it diligently, several times you may not find it so easy. It might take you into the wilderness. And another season opens up upon your life because you did not take advantage of the presence of God that was coming to you for free. Please do not take that lock, that knock lightly. If you have wisdom in your spirit, you will know it will not be there forever. Because he comes to look to seek you out with a kiss. And many people need more than a kiss to be drawn from what has entangled them. Arise, O oh God, and let your enemies be scattered. Let something move over you so strong that will give you a vision of heaven to be in the air. We are not of this world. We are ambassadors. Only heaven has a true meaning for your existence. It's written in the parchments, in the archives of God. And every time you become intimate with Him, you begin to operate in the prophetic. He opens your understanding to a little more reason why you are operating here. I'm tired of the Christianity of our day. It is sick with all the infirmities of the world. The reason why most believers excite faith is for selfish reasons. I can get it too. I can do it too. And you are in the wrong template. Because the Bible said that faith only works by law. So that self-centered faith. That faith that is because of you. They are trying to do this because of I need this. Many times it doesn't work. And then you begin to understand the secret of life. God doesn't give you the strength to solve your own problems. But he gives you enough strength to solve other people's problems. Gives you enough anointing to heal other people. But last two weeks I was seriously down on the bed. With pains from my head. Down like that. And my brothers in, 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 in BSU called me they say. We have the exam. Please come and bless us. I, I managed. My wife helped me. They didn't know I came there under pressure. And I came there. God was supplying strength to bless other people. Meanwhile, his man was dying. And I put the hand on my body. No! He didn't hear me. My own, my own went through process of recovery. I felt every day of the recovery. Why will God empower you to bless men? But you can't help yourself. That should reveal to you that God is more interested in you looking outward than you are. And all of your faith is to give you something. You don't, that's why you're still on that level. They lie to us when they preach faith to us. Faith is not just that currency by which you receive from God. Faith too can also get, get you to reject things. And faith, the faith of Noah was revealed in a fear. Have you been reading your Bible? He said, the faith Noah had was expressing what a fear 
I think we we'll no we'll need to go back to Ofeto. And you'll see all the manifestations of it. You'll know we don't have it in this generation. We don't have it. We don't have it. It doesn't exist in the citadels, or the police houses where faith has been made a doctrine. It's a lifestyle of the spirit. It's an attitude that does not move until God is moving. It's a selfless attitude that looks from beyond you. God gives you capacity and power and ability to meet the needs of a gen generation. Meanwhile, he has not given you a child. He came to tell you that your name is, he has changed your name, there's no child. But he has said you are a father of nations. You are reaching out, but you cannot reach back. He doesn't even give you the opportunity to look at yourself. Daniel was castrated in Babylon. He never cried out and said, God, why is it that I can't have children? He was a loyalist of Jesus. And in the days of the height of the, the iniquity of the, the land of Babylon, the hand appeared without a body. Wrote on the wall. Many, many. The care of a sin. And they had to send for him. At that point, he had retired from active service. He said, there's only one man in the days of your father. In whom is the wisdom of the gods. Only such a man can despite, decipher this mystery. They had to seek his his little cottage house where he had retired to to die and brought him back to active service and he cried out that night thou have been weighed in the balances and found what their place or took them to a point where they despised God place was a war of the heart that knows no boundary only the love of God can serve as a pivot that can hold us together. Don't allow that not go on, on, on answer. That call, don't allow it go unheeded. Many times. It's the last link that we have. To work with him. There were several of us that God brought affliction, your, allowed affliction your way to push you a little further. But instead, the affliction made you despise and cause God. And you have been a fugitive for the past 12 years. You can return. There's nothing that God does that is not by the motivation of love. I need you to know this. Tell your neighbor, He calls you. He calls you by your name. When you hear His voice, answer Him. Please rise up, let's pray as a congregation.